let's look at final exam question number 87. In Everyday Math Demystified, second edition, page 252 at the very top, you've probably heard these words before. When you talk about tax reform, this always comes up. A flat income tax is what they're talking about, but it's not really quite flat. It's never quite flat. There's always a catch. Suppose that our federal government enacts a flat income tax of 24%, uh, flat 24% tax on your income, but you get an exemption of $40,000, so it's a flat 24% rate, but a $40,000 exemption. Well, of course, then, unless someone makes a fabulously large amount of money, they're not going to pay anything like 24%. The question goes on to say, suppose that you make $100,000 in a given year. Okay, you make $100,000. Then how much of your income, in terms of a percentage, will you actually pay? Well, you are going to pay this 24% on the difference between these, or $60,000. So you're going to pay 0 0.24 times $60,000. 0 0.24 times $60,000. Well, when I take my calculator, because I'm not quite sharp enough to do that in my head, I get $14,400. Well, that's the actual amount of tax that I'm going to pay, but what percentage of my income is that? Well, that's 14,400 divided by 100,000. 14,400 divided by 100,000 times 100 to get the percentage. Well, I can do that in my head. That's right here, 14,400 divided by 100,000 works out to be 0 0.144 times 100 That'll give me a final effective percentage of 14.4%. That's what, in fact, you will be paying on your income, taking that $40,000 exemption into account. When we look at our choices here, that is choice. B. So that's what we get for this question.